They said you'd be coming. So you want to hear the story of Sick and Silas, eh? And the day they met. Why don't you take a seat there and we'll get started. Some might say that this is a tale of fate, but the truth is that's not right at all. The truth is this is a tale of program intervention. Let me elaborate. My world is governed by three classes of beings. The weakest of these is my own. I am the player. Most of us are. The player's job is simple, to harvest. As I'm sure you're aware, I come from a separate universe. In an age eons past and generations old, greed turned our universe into a wasteland. And so the player's task is to harvest from other more bountiful worlds and rebuild. Next we have the admins. Of the three classes, these are the most unpredictable. Wherever they go, mischief and often destruction follow in their wake. Historically, Herobrine was the only admin to ever allow himself to be seen and what we know of them comes from him. Generally speaking, they are an anomaly, certainly not all powerful, but governed by no one but themselves. Shy from those with the glowing eye. Lastly, we have the programmers, and it is their will that we must abide by. They are the player's creators, essentially our gods, but not the gods. So when I say that this was program intervention, what I'm getting at is that this story came to be because of the nefarious actions of a programmer and its selfish desires, not by the will of the gods. My name is Sick. And I thought this was going to be just another world like the many before it. Another harvest. All right, let's go through the list. First things first, wood. Whoa, that's a dark forest. I wonder which world they sent me to this time. That tree right there looks nice and easy. I guess now we'll start surveying the area for a decent spot to put down some roots. Uh, everybody knows that plains biomes are boring, so I guess I'll take my chances inside the forest. Man, this forest is dense. What kind of biome is this? What the hell was that? Never heard a sound like that in any world. Something's weird here. I gotta get to the bottom of this. Well, it definitely came from this direction, so I'll just head this way, I guess. Whoa, there it was again. Definitely came from this super creepy dark hallway of trees. Yeah, there's definitely a zombie that's going to jump out at me at some point. My word, why is the air getting so heavy? Oh, oh my god! All powerful programmer and merciful admin, what is before me? I need to leave this place. It's unholy. One 
thing's for certain. This place is gonna get even worse at night. I need to set up a base camp. I don't know what that was, but we'll have to worry about it later. We will get to the bottom of it, though. That night, I finished building the start of a home shortly after the moon had arisen. My mind was racked by the nightmarish thing I had seen in the forest the previous day, and my sleep was fitful. When morning came, I had already made up my mind. I decided that if I was to make progress in this world, I needed to get to the bottom of whatever I had seen and heard. So when I left the house, I had already steeled myself for whatever was to come. All right, a beautiful day. Everything is gonna go great. I cannot possibly see anything going wrong. Oh man, what is this thing? I wonder if it's some sort of burial ground. Though that would definitely mean the inhabitants of this world are far more intuitive than most worlds. It looks like some variation of obsidian, but way creepier. And it sounds that way too. I keep hearing muffled thumps as if something is inside of it. Yeah, that's definitely obsidian. At least it's as hard as it. I'll try and dig underneath. Maybe I'll find an opening? Maybe some treasure in here. You never know. Ah, bummer. The bottom's sealed. Well, I can't say I'm too mad about that. I'll just have to come back when I've finally gotten some diamond for a pickaxe. No other way around it. It's just too hard for me to get in there. Well, let's get to it. I'm kind of scared, but oddly enough, I'm really excited. I've never experienced this in any world before.
At last, it's time. Oddly enough, it seems quieter at night. No muffled thumps or far off sounding voices. Just the peace of the surroundings. The hellishness of this eerie obsidian. But I needed to know. Was there anything to this? Or was it just my imagination? Ah! Help me, please. What was that? Was that a person? No, 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 no. I've heard stories. Shy from the glowing eye. Can you please help me? I'm going to pause the story for a second to lay out some details. I was terrified. I knew the stories and I knew this man was an admin, but for some reason I made a spur of the moment decision to help him. For someone who supposedly had so much power, he seemed awfully helpless in there. And so, this is where the story of Sick and Silas truly began. All right. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna get you out of there. Just stay put for a little while longer and I'll take you back and help get you fixed up. You look pretty banged up, man. We're almost there. We got like two more blocks I need to move. And then I'll be able to get you out of there. But boy, do I have a lot of questions for you. I bet it does. I'm gonna help you up now, one step at a time. Up you go, there you go. Nice, one more. Perfect, good stuff. Oops, sorry about that, that's my bad. I'll help you up. There we go. All right, man, that's the hard part. Now we just gotta walk you home. We'll take it slow. We'll be out of the dark as soon as we get around this tree bend. Just a little more. Last hop. And there it is. I bet that's the first time you've seen the sun in quite a while. And there's my house. So we are just about home. Whoa there. I'll help you up. Grab my arm. There we go. Alright. Let's head inside and get you cleaned up. Why don't you hold on to that wall as we walk straight ahead to those doors. Let me get the doors real quick. Okay, in you go. Alright, if you need to use the toilet, it's right next to you. But I'm gonna help you down here and we'll set you down in the bath. It's nice and hot already, so I'll leave you to soak, and when you're finished, I'll have a change of clothes waiting for you on the barrel. Whenever you want them, I've got a few potions of healing inside that barrel that you can use to heal those wounds. But I'll be waiting in the room we came through to get here. Take your time and freshen up. Alright, well I guess I'll rearrange the table. 
down some chairs as well so we have somewhere to sit when we're talking. So Lord knows there's going to be a lot of talking. I need some explanations. I don't know what the heck I just got myself into, but... Hope he's okay in there. Holy smokes! You really cleaned up! Well, why don't you take a seat and, uh, tell me about yourself. Like, your name would be a good place to start. I can tell you three things for certain. My name is Silas. As I'm sure you've guessed, I'm an admin. Lastly, I was forsaken by my people. Why that is, I can't say. I've been trapped in that crying obsidian for so long, I've lost track of time. I've spent what feels like an eternity trying to figure out what led me to become imprisoned and who I am. But when I look within to try and recall, all I feel is a deep void like someone reached in and grabbed my memories and ripped them out. That is all I remember. I see. Well, I don't have much to say to that. It's beyond me. But it is what it is. I will do my part and help you get back on your feet. You are welcome to stay here as long as you like. And I'm even willing to help you recover your past if you wish it. But not tonight. I've had a long day of work, and I need sleep. I've gone ahead and laid out a bedroll for you in the next room. If you need anything, just ask. Good night, Silas. Well, wow. this is quite a living space. Good morning, Silas. I've made you some breakfast. Why don't you come over and eat with me? I'm not sure what they eat in the admin world, but uh, down here I like a nice hearty pork chop breakfast. Don't mind if I do, sick. That sounds mighty good. Ooh, it looks nice and tender, too. <laughs> Just wait till you take a bite. It's mouth-watering. You, uh, really perked up overnight. You look great, man. Doesn't even look like you were stuck in a hole for God knows how long. Yeah, man, admins tend to heal pretty quick when we're not stuck in a crying obsidian hole. That stuff really does things to us. Well, look, I'm gonna be clearing out the back today and putting in a farm. If you would like to come out there and help me, you are... More than welcome to. I'm not sure what you've got on your agenda. Huh. I think I'm going to take the day to collect my thoughts and ponder my current situation, if you don't mind. Not at all, man. Uh, you've got a lot to figure out, so I don't mind at all. Um, but if you change your mind, you know where to find me. So, there's a... Shovel in the chest, and I'll maybe see you out there. All right, sick. That sounds great. Thanks for breakfast, by the way. Oh, for sure. No problem. All right, man. See you later. <laughs>
general idea how I want this garden to look, but there are definitely a few things I'm unsure about. Hmm, do I want to get rid of that tree? I don't know, it's a nice looking tree. It might look good if I use that as like, maybe one of the fence posts. Hmm, definitely some things to consider. We gotta clear out this grass though, so let's get to that. He's been good to me, but if I don't do this, it might be lost forever. And I cannot afford to let that happen. If he gets it, we could all become powerless before him. like the coast is clear. I don't think anybody should know this is here. <sighs> okay. It appears undisturbed. What is that? He's in here, boss. I can see him. Great. Now block his escape. Head on in. Don't move or I'll put a bolt right through your skull. Now I've got you in my line of fire. Don't move. I said don't move. Alright, boss. He's under control. You can come on in. Stay tuned for part two of Sick Meat Silas to find out what happens to our secretive friend. Watch Sick plan a daring rescue and discover how the duo plans to fend off the evil pillagers. <laughs>